Welcome to the Home Inspector Marketing Podcast. Because you're a home inspector looking to increase your sales, improve your cash flow, and boost your bottom line, you are in the right place. For additional training resources on how you can grow your home inspection business, go to microreturns.com right now. And now, here's the podcast. Hi, this is Mike Crow, and I run a home inspection business. In fact, I've run a couple of home inspection businesses. The true joy for me, though, has been helping literally thousands of home inspectors build really solid home inspection businesses as well. We can help a single man operation be able to do over $300,000 a year, maybe all the way up to $400,000 a year as a single inspector operation. Even better for me is the 80 plus companies that we have helped be able to build million dollar home inspection businesses. I would like to help you be able to do the same thing. When we're talking with people, I'm amazed at how people get trapped into where the industry started and they haven't really grown into different things. So it kind of goes back to, you know, something that I've said many times and that is, you know, do you have 17 years experience or do you have, you know, one year of experience 17 times? And we see that with so many people. So I was talking with a guy the other day. He's been in the business, I think, 12 years. And I said, great. I said, tell me where your prices start. And he went, well, my prices start at $400. I went, all right, uh, that's something we can work on. And I said, uh, uh, and that's up to what square footage? And he said, that's up to... Uh, uh, 2,000 square feet, or maybe he said 2,500, 2,500 square feet. And I went, okay, that makes sense. I said, uh, so what's your next square footage price break? He went, oh, 3,000 square feet. So he breaks his square footage down by 500 square feet blocks. And we see this over and over and over again. So his next break goes from 3,000 to 3,500. The next break is 3,500 to 4,000. And I told him, I said, I said, I I love you, man. I said, but there's several problems wrong with your pricing structure. And I said, I can give you an immediate 7% boost, most likely in your gross revenue, just by fixing one thing, and that's your pricing structure. And he goes, well, I'm I'm all ears. I said, so your price at uh, uh, 2,500 square feet, right? And I think on paper, so I'm looking down a little bit as I write here, 2,500 square feet is $400. And he went, yep. And I said, so... The next price is at 3,000 square feet. I said, how much is that? And by the way, I was shocked and dismayed to hear his answer. And he went, oh, well, that's $425. Are you kidding me? $25 more for another 500 square feet? Never mind. I'm sorry. All right, so let's get back to, uh, you know, the reality here. Um, I was proud of him for the 400, by the way, um, though I wonder how real that is, especially when I hear the next number. So I told him, I said, here's what I want you to do. I want you to add a new slot inside of between those two. So in, instead of 2,500 to, all right, so let's do it this way. From 2,500 to 3,000, I want you to add a slot in the middle here, okay? Man, I need a third hand, all right? Add a slot here in the middle, all right? And um, that would be 2,750 square feet. And then what I want you to do is take the $25 and basically cut it in half. So let's go up to 2,500 square feet and then 2,750 square feet, make that one $13 more. So now it's $413 and now 425 for the next level up. So just by doing that, Davey, we find more people instant money than just about anything that we can possibly, you know, uh, to do for them. By the way, uh, the whole pricing structure has got like six, seven rules around it that most people don't understand. One is the number one reason people call you, the number one reason people call you is because they need to, they need to have a price. And the silly inspectors out there go, oh, I wish people would quit asking me, what do you charge? What do you, you know, what's your price? And, and they get they get all uptight about that. I get excited about that. That first off, they don't know any better than to ask for price. I get that. They don't know any better. The second thing is I get to, I get excited because I get to tell them not only what our price is, but why we charge that price. And we need to make sure that we have some unique selling formulas that uh, make some difference inside of all of that to make our prices that direction. Here's the other part of this is your prices should not be posted anywhere. They shouldn't be on the internet. 
they, and, and unless they have to go through a whole form to fill out to make sure they were like scheduling an appointment, uh, they shouldn't be on postcards or, or, or brochures or anywhere. There should not be a price sheet anywhere. And people should not be able to memorize your price. So when you tell me, oh, we're $400 and 2,500 inspections, and he tells me he doesn't have enough inspections, I already know one of the reasons he doesn't have enough inspections. So people are, are agents are saying, well, there's this guy and this guy and this guy. Well, how much are they? Well, I know this guy starts out at $400 and goes up from there. He's already lost 50% of his phone calls because people already know what he charges. You want to make sure that they call you and ask you for that price. Here's the other thing is, he starts out at 2,500 square feet. So we go in and they ask us what our price is. So we go, well, our prices start at $297 based on square footage and it goes up from there. Never did I say at what square footage did our price change. But that 297, that's up to just a thousand square feet. That's less than 1% of the homes in our area. So people go, oh my God, you only charge 297? Yeah, yeah, for like condos, you know? <laughs> so anyway, um, and, and our average price is well over $500, you know, per inspection, which by the way, I still remember uh, people telling me, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, oh man, $500, well, that, that's, that's unbelievable. If you, if you can get that much, that's great. And now there's people across the country charging a thousand plus dollars per inspection. But the bottom line is your prices should not be memorable. You need to have your prices broken down so that uh, they're, they're unusual. So the 413, I love that. The 400, no, let's make it 398 or 397. Uh, and then, and maybe make a lower one and then may make higher ones based on different square foot levels in every way. You know, Davey, one of the things we teach people all the time is there's basically only three ways to, to get more revenue into the business. Okay. Raising your prices is one of those ways. Charging more per client. Uh, the other way, of course, is getting more new clients in the door. The other way is what the way I like to say it is to get more mavens that will refer you over and over and over and over again so that they um, they are continually referring your company. That's why I love Maven so much compared to, say, just home buyers. A Maven, someone that can refer us over and again, it's going to cost us the same amount of money to market to Mavens that will refer us as it cost us to get uh, a client. But the Maven will send us about five new clients per year. Uh, and so you get a 500 times ROI or return on your investment for that. Davey, what did I say there that maybe you can help clean up for make sure everybody's understanding what we're saying here? Yeah, I believe the big part about pricing is uh, it's six inches. It's six inches right here. Sometimes Boy, isn't that for sure. A lot of the folks that, that we serve each and every day here with our mastermind community and some of our online programs, one of the biggest obstacles they have is that six inches up there. They for some reason, don't think they are worth whatever the price might be. They they believe that they should be comparing themselves to their competition. And, and most of that junk is up here in, in their own brain. So what we help those folks realize is we kind of have to deprogram them, right, Mike? we got to take all that garbage out of their mind and get them on the right path of the right mindset, like all of our very successful clients have here uh, that we serve. And once they clean that garbage out, then they realize that, yes, they can and should, and in most cases, uh, be raising their prices a lot more than maybe what they realize they should be doing. I like how you said that, Davey. And one of the things that I realized was until I came up with a formula for raising your prices, most inspectors would raise their price once and went, OK, I raised my prices. But when I started creating a formula, which was three times 90 times two, which we can talk about if you want. Um, this is the formula used to raise your prices. Most of the people that come into business with us, uh, and there's one guy out of California that you and I both love, that he raised his prices like six times the first year. He was so underpriced for the value that he delivered, he didn't realize he raised his prices like six times in one year. So until you realize there's a formula, imagine you had a measuring cup. Imagine you had a measuring cup, right? And someone says, Pour that until it's full. And somebody pours it, and it's a two-cup measuring cup, and they pour half a cup in, and they go, I think that's full. And you look at it and go, what in the world makes you think that's full? 
Well, I mean, I mean, right there, half a cup. You know, that's, that's pretty full. Well, what if you could put a put it up to a cup? Oh, yeah, that'd definitely be full. Well, what if you could put it to a cup and a half? Oh, yeah, that'd definitely be full. Well, what if you could get it into two cups? I mean, it is a two-cup measuring cup. and But that's the thing is, they don't know how to measure. So they take the water, they put it in there, and at half a cup, they think they're full. But they're so undervaluing what they do that I had to literally create a formula. And, and actually, I don't know very many industries that have a formula as clear cut as what we have. So three times 90 times two. If, if, if these things hit, you raise prices, either $8, $13, again, going back to those oddball numbers, you know, across the board um, until, uh, until those numbers, until the formula is full, until you've got, you know, two cups in the measuring cup, okay? Um, and so... By the way, my wife does a lot of cooking, so she has these two cup measuring cups, you know, like laying around. Uh, and so I, I get to see them on a regular basis. I am a lucky and blessed man. Let me tell you, she is one good you cook. Certainly, you certainly are. We hope you enjoyed the podcast. And as a friendly reminder, if you're looking to increase your sales, improve your cash flow, and boost your bottom line as a home inspector, go to microreturns.com right now.